Tina Aston Hi Snow. guys, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it's fall already? I am beside myself excited because I love the fall. I feel like fall is everyone's favorite season and what a perfect time to change up your glam. So, I created a really simple, easy, I call it a five minute fall glam. It's going to take me longer than five minutes today because I'm going to be talking to you about it. But if you guys want to know what I did to achieve this really, really quick, simple glam, keep watching. I've switched up two things in my routine. So, I am using, instead of a moisturizer or under eye cream, I know, because I told you guys you had to use those. I'm using this Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum. After I wash my face at night and during the daytime, I've been doing that for like two months now. And it is an incredible skin game changer. Now I've primed my skin with this um, mineral primer from Hourglass. So I started using this before my wedding and I really loved it. And I already had that on my face. I gotta take my ring off so I don't have no foundation in it. Okay, so I'm gonna mix two things. So I'm gonna mix the Power Fabric by Giorgio Armani. I wear the shade 6.5 and then I'm gonna put a little pump of the um, It Cosmetics CC Plus. This is the Illumination one, and this is the shade Medium. So I add this just because this is kind of a quick, easy look, and I don't want it to be too heavy. And I really try and get refined on you guys and start using beauty blenders and brushes and stuff, but I always go back to my grubby little paws. <laughs> Tarte Shape Tape. I love this. I cannot break myself of using this because I haven't found a concealer that I love more than this. So this is the shade Light Neutral. I do switch that up in the fall because I typically use Light Medium. This has a little bit different undertone and I feel that it works better with my skin tone for fall. So I also I blend this in with a damp beauty blender. You can use a not damp beauty blender. I really switch this part up a lot. Just press this into your skin. Don't wipe it. look is I do prime my eyes with that beauty blender also with a little bit of that concealer on it so it makes it really easy now you might think oh this is not a quick easy look if you're doing cream contour but cream contour actually helps me to speed up the process and it helps my bronze stay a little bit longer and I really love a bronze glow in the fall so I'm gonna go in with this Mac um, this is the uh, match master concealer it's an eight is the shade and I'm just gonna add a tiny tiny bit of cream contour right here and then I hardly add any bronzer at all. Now, and then I blend this um, really simply with this It Cosmetics brush. Yeah, this is Heavenly Skin. Um, this is the CC Plus Skin Perfector. It's number 702. I'll link all these things below. And I like for it to sit on my skin a little bit more luminous, a little like. <laughs> and that cream contour just seems to add that kind of dewy, like this is not real face effect. And I like that effect lately. Sometimes I don't, but I do lately. So then I'm going to go in. I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the dual um, Film Star Bronze and Blush Glow. So it's got a blush and a bronzer. This is kind of more of a summer shade, but I do like the bronzer in it. So what I do is I basically just barely set where I did that cream. Hardly at all. I really use the cream as the bronzer. Okay. And then I'm going to set the light parts where I did the concealer just barely with this Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. And um, I'll link all these below. But I just barely set that so that it doesn't crease. Now I'm going to go in with a blush that I've been using that I adore for fall. So I saw this Charlotte Tilbury um, blush. And I have all the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. And when this one came out, I was like, now how that going to work? Because look at that shade. Is this for my skin tone or is it like for ethnic skin tones or what is it? But it seems to work and I really like it. So it's more of like a little bit of a peachy glow. So with this, because the Switch and Pop blushers, you do want to just like kind of tap. You don't want to like brush a lot of this off because it is pretty um, strong. Can, can I blush with strong? It's pretty strong. It's almost like between a peach and a it's a peach. It's a peach. Sometimes I'll try to get a little too complicated. That's where I gotta stop myself. If you get oily, you can dust uh, translucent powder, Laura Mercier, or RCMA, or the Charlotte Tilbury over it just a tiny bit. But keep that luminosity about you. Now, because I've already primed my eyes really easily with whatever concealer you want to use, 
I'm just going to go in and I'm going to cover it with any sort of light shade just to get that stickiness off of it. So I'm going to go in with this Tartlet palette. I think this is the In Bloom palette, but I'll link it below. Um, and I'm going to use this Free Spirit, but any kind of bone shade is going to be fine. So just cover your lid, the whole lid with that, just as a little base. And then I'm just going to do one swipe of a Charlotte Tilbury on my lid, and that's going to be it for the eyes. I love in the fall a cream shadow because in the summertime you tend to sweat it off or it creases really bad but fall is just the perfect time to bring a cream shadow into your makeup routine. Okay so I have the eyes to mesmerize in almost every color and I love this product. A it's super super easy, B it's long wearing and C everybody's gonna look at you and be like what do you have on your eyes? Like it's the most beautiful thing ever especially in the sunlight. I adore it. So this is called um, Betty and it's a true gold and then this one's called Mona Lisa and it's kind of got a little bit of a brown almost a purple undertone to it I just love them. so um, what I do I take my ring finger and I just kind of swirl it around in there and I put this right onto the lid I dab it you want to make sure though because this is a pigmented color that you don't go too far over to the side or too far over to this side really keep it on the true lid and then at the very end, you kind of dab it into the crease just to blend it. Make sure you don't get it out onto the side because that doesn't look right. That looks wrong. How beautiful is that? Also, if you have blue eyes, these colors are really going to make your eyes pop. Or green eyes. If you have brown eyes, this one with purple undertone, girl. Oh, boy. The lid was wearing it. Sometimes I'll take whatever's left over my ring fingers and I'll just kind of hit that bottom lash line just to make it look like it's all seamless and goes together. You don't have to wear a liner with this look, but I'm gonna throw one on just because it's gonna really go with my um, shadow and I love the purple tone for fall. So this is um, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyeliner and it's in v Elizabeth Violet. And I'm just gonna do Elizabeth, um, or Charlotte is really good about making makeup that's like foolproof. Anybody can put this on, it's just like a smudge. It's super easy. I'm like 10 feet away from a mirror right now. Like you literally don't even have to look in the mirror while you're doing this. I could do this while I was driving with it. Okay, and then I always do this just because I like a light bright eye on every look I ever do. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cheat. And I'm just gonna color my waterline with that. It's kind of like a beige, okay? And then I'm gonna brush my lashes really quickly. You can go in if you have lash extensions. Um, obviously you don't have to have lash extensions. You can wear a false lash. Or this is a really quick, easy look. You really don't even have to wear a lash with this look. Mine are permanent, so I can't show you what it looks like without a lash, but it'd be lovely. So I always love the Too Faced Mascara. It is always my favorite, and it is awesome. But there is an alternative that I've been using lately. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise is a really, really great option, and it's drugstore. Super inexpensive, and it works just as well. So I'm going to go in, and I'm actually just going to hit my bottom lashes a tiny bit just to kind of blend that. And I'm going to leave my top lashes alone just because I got a lot going on in that department. But you can obviously hit your top lashes. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my brow. And then we're almost done. Okay, so I'm going to brush my brows up. My brows are whack right now because I haven't done them since my wedding. But um, I really love a thick brow for fall. So instead of doing like so much structure to my brow, I'm really doing like more hair strokes and just kind of like letting them roll with whatever they're doing that day okay so my brows are done and i'm just gonna set my makeup so i started setting my makeup around my wedding because i was like i gotta set this wedding makeup and then i fell so in love with this setting spray and it made such a difference i set my makeup every day now so this is seven seven cosmetics and this is natural glow finishing mist smells like cucumber works like a dream now I'm going to go with my lip color. Now you can do so many lip colors for fall. I think fall is a time for mobs and browns and plums and just all those beautiful shades. Like fall screams those colors. So I'm going to go in with just one that I chose today that I feel like is fall. But um, I also really love like orange toned lipsticks. Um, Bobbi Brown Orange is one of my very favorites and will be beautiful with this look too. But I really want to use, so these um, L'Oreal uh, lip shades came out I think in just, just in July. And I got all of them. And these are the Color Rich Matte. This, these are the liners. I'm going to use this liner. And this shade is 112. They come in um, numbers. I really love this, especially for like a matte neutral liner, which is beautiful for fall. And then I am going to go in with this Buxom Gloss. So this is called Sandy. I'm going to keep this kind of a nude neutral look. 
Like I said, if you wanted to add some color, this would be the perfect time. I love this Buxom gloss too because it's a plumping gloss and it tends to stay. So isn't that the most beautiful, easy fall look ever in the world? I just want to show you guys like a kind of an updated, really, really simple fall glam. You could take this into nighttime by adding that Mona Lisa onto your lid. It would make it a much more dark, sultry look. And by using a little bit of a darker lip tone, I love these new Too Faced Melted Latex. This color is Bite Me and this color is Strange Love. I love these two colors if you want to transition this into nighttime. What you do in nighttime in fall? Only birds sing me a song from your emptiness in the snow.